What if you could boost your immune system by just moving your body? Your nervous system and immune system are constantly talking to each other. When your nervous system feels safe, your immunity works smarter, not harder. In this routine, we will use simple somatic exercises to strengthen that connection. Let's begin. Start tapping gently from your feet and work your way up, feeling each touch wake up your body from the inside out. This rhythmic stimulation activates sensory receptors in the skin and fascia, sending signals through the spinal cord to the brain regions that connect movement, emotion, and immune function. As these pathways engage, your autonomic nervous system begins to balance. Cortisol levels drop, circulation and lymph flow increase, and your body shifts from stress-driven inflammation into a state of renewal. In this rhythm, tapping becomes more than movement. It's a direct conversation with your immune system, inviting it back into harmony. And now, allow yourself to integrate for about 35 seconds. Interlace your hands behind your back and open your chest as you stretch, allowing the front of your body to expand and the shoulders to roll back. 
This movement activates proprioceptive and baroreceptive feedback along the chest wall and cervical spine, stimulating vagal pathways that link the heart, lungs, and immune organs through the parasympathetic network. As the thoracic cavity opens, lymphatic drainage and circulatory flow improve, enhancing the transport of immune cells. The gentle mechanical stretch reduces sympathetic tension in the pectoral fascia and diaphragmatic attachments, which helps downshift inflammatory signaling and supports a state where immune defense and tissue repair can operate in balance. And now, allow yourself to integrate for about 30 seconds. Inhale through your nose for five seconds, exhale for five seconds, and feel your whole system settle into rhythm. This is called coherent breathing, and it strengthens vagal tone, which directly influences the immune organs through the parasympathetic network. As your breath calms the nervous system, cortisol levels drop, and inflammatory messengers quiet down, allowing immune cells like lymphocytes and macrophages to function with greater precision. In this balanced state, your body becomes more efficient at detecting pathogens, repairing tissue, and maintaining overall immune resilience.
now, allow yourself to integrate for about 30 seconds. Tilt your head gently to the right and begin slow rhythmic shoulder shrugs while keeping the tilt. This movement releases tension along the neck and upper thoracic fascia, stimulating the vagus nerve as it sits in the skull and travels down to the cervical region. By mobilizing these tissues, you enhance vagal communication between the brain and immune organs, such as the spleen and thymus. This resulting parasympathetic activation reduces sympathetic stress signaling improves lymphatic drainage from the neck and chest, and supports balanced immune regulation, helping the body shift from the inflammation to restoration. And now, switch sides. And now, allow yourself to integrate for about 30 seconds. You can do this either seated or standing. Begin to bounce gently, letting the rhythm move through your whole body. This oscillating motion activates mechanoreceptors in the muscles and fascia, sending powerful regulatory input to the brainstem and cerebellum, which influence both autonomic and immune responses. The alternating compression and release stimulate lymphatic flow enhancing immune cell circulation and support the body's natural detox and repair processes. As your nervous system settles into rhythmic coherence, inflammation decreases and your immune system becomes more adaptive, efficient, and resilient.
now, allow yourself to fully relax. Your immune system is one of the greatest allies. It listens to how you move, breathe, and rest. As we move into the colder months, remember that resilience isn't built through force, but through regulation. Each time you calm your nervous system, you create conditions for your immune system to thrive. Less inflammation, more vitality, and a body that knows how to adapt. Keep returning to these gentle practices. They're not just movement, they're communication with your body's own intelligence. And tell me in the comments, what is your favorite way to support your immune system when the weather turns cold? Mine is red light therapy and tea. I love good tea.